Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we have another toy that we bought. Really not a toy, but uh, something that we uh, are gonna use on our trips. I'm not gonna say no to having hot water. We're gonna use it for showers on extended trips. Um, and also especially for dishwashing. We've encountered on cold days and nights when we've had dinner or whatever out and about uh, the dishes are caked with grease and cold water was not cutting it. So this is hopefully going to help with that. It's going to help with hot showers again as well. So we are stoked to have it on future trips. Let's set it up and uh, make sure it works before we head out. <laughs> All right, so here's what comes with the kit. We got the unit itself with a handle up top, some dials we're gonna play around with. I'm guessing that's temperature, and then this is probably how much water you want coming through. Have a little uh, display here. We got the owner's manual, we got some batteries that came with it. I believe they're D size. And then the propane line with uh, regulator, and then the hot water. And then uh, looks like a nozzle, nozzle handle, and some fittings. All right, let's put it all together, make sure it works for us. So here's what it's looking like. I've got everything plumbed up, propane hooked up. All three lines are all hooked up. I got the lowest heat setting, the lowest water setting, and the water is running out. They're not running out, but it's running out into the street. This is the uh, water flow adjustment. The more water you want, the less water. So this thing is, pretty automatic once you turn it on it is flowing i thought maybe it had like a uh, reservoir in here where you would uh use it on demand over here but this is a switch that turns on the igniter in the unit there so once you have this switched on it just runs through and it is it is warm this is perfect to take a shower in right now honestly so here's how i have it hooked up i have the nozzle here so the short cord the short hose I have it hooked up in between the two the switch in uh, right in the middle and then the long hose goes to the hot side all right so it's pretty oh look and I adjusted the, the flow so it's a little cooler now so you can mess with these two if you want it hot uh, turn this up turn this down water's gonna be really hot so right now it's uh, it's blinking on the screen. It looks like 77, but it's 98 from what I can see here. Anyways, it's a little leakage here. I'm not bad, I'm not worried about it. As long as these two aren't leaking, I'm good. Make sure when you're doing this, testing this, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I've got my door behind me open and the garage wide open, so I'm good there. Anyways, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to take this guy on adventure. And uh, let's pack it all up. So to turn it off, go back to this switch. Just turn it off. And then this unit is turned off. <laughs> 